Hey, Michael here. This is my mate Heath's cat. Uh, it's quite a large boat. We're going to be using it today to do some scuba around the Sugarloaf Islands. So hey, yeah, let's have a look. Ethan's in first just to check out the viz. He's going to do a little bit of free diving today. No mucking around, we get suited up and over the side. Uh, it's been a little while since I've done any scuba diving. I first did my ticket with my dad when I was about 15 years old. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to getting back into it. He's been scuba diving for a very long time, he's very experienced, so he's quick to descend. Once I'm all sorted out, I'm quick to follow him down. I wasn't too sure how well the GoPro would go with all the bubbles from the regulator. Um, it's not too bad, it's actually worked out quite well. You'll notice Heath's wearing his GoPro as well. We didn't manage to get any footage from it because he forgot to put the SD card in it. Well actually it was my fault because I'd borrowed it but um, and hadn't returned it, but yeah, a bit funny. He spots a couple of crows, points them out for me to have a go. Uh, I disappoint him. But hey, you never know what comes next. The Viz is really good today for New Plymouth. Plenty of bait fish around, plenty to look at. So I'm coming along here and I bump into a crayfish. Uh, we have a little bit of a tussle and I managed to get it. So once I've secured it, or it's secured me, it's holding me for a little while, I go over to Heath so he can uh, have a measure. I didn't bring a dive bag today, so I'll have to put it in his dive bag. I used my Roku free diving fins for scuba as well. Um, and the extra weight of the scuba gear etc did not uh, change the performance they still performed very well i love those blades quick little measure up well over legal straight in the bag I used my Weedy Free Diving Wetsuit for this scuba session. Hey, I don't see the need of going out and buying anything else. They're good, warm, flexible, perfect. Here's a couple of red mochi. They grow quite large. Uh, nobody targets them for spearfishing, so they, yeah, they just grow big.
down a little bit deeper I quite enjoyed the scuba diving with my ears um, free diving sometimes I've a bit of trouble clearing my ears um, and get a bit of pain in, in my sinuses but scuba diving with all the time just to give your ears a good clearing out just equalizing and then equalizing again it's been quite good for my ears so I'm kind of hoping that uh, they come better for free diving now too I was using my free diving watch, it's a Sento D4F. Um, it's quite handy for scuba diving as well. It's got a few little basic features, you know, which is quite good. Heaps got a, a very good dive computer, it looked after us the whole time we were diving, just making sure that we weren't exceeding our limits and that we ascended at the right times. So just holding it depths um, on the way up, you know, and just making sure that everything was right. So this can be quite simply done by just choosing your dive areas, you know, you might have been at 22 metres, and then you just pick an area at about 15 metres, 10 metres, 5 metres, and then you, yeah, you can get out. So yeah, that's my first crack at scuba diving for quite a while. Uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, I think I'm going to be getting back into it in a big way. Uh, still be free diving, spear fishing, but the scuba diving, don't have to hold my breath <laughs> so much. But yeah, nah, I'm loving it, so get ready for more. Over and out.